Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all know that most of us prefer Android devices simply because of the customizability factor there. And well, that's what this video is all about. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the best apps that you can download to well, change the status bar, the volume toggles, the quick settings and whatnot. These apps will give your device a truly new look while also making your device far more productive. So without wasting any more time, this is one from Guiding Tech and let's get started. Kicking things off, we have Movies Edge. Now the developer has a similar app for the nav bar, but in my opinion, this is a far better implementation. So for those of you who are unaware, Movies basically adds a music visualizer to your Android device. And in this case, it does so around the edges of your screen while you're listening to music from your favorite music apps. You can fiddle around with the visualizer settings to make it look as per your liking or choose it to automatically apply colors from the current album art. The app also contains a responsive visualizer design pack which are crafted specifically for screen edges and can be customized to match your style. Alright, so moving along, gesture navigation is basically a very common thing across all smartphones nowadays. That being said, every OEM has their own implementation for some reason and I am not a fan of that. The solution? FNG or Fluid Navigation Gestures. So you need to give it access via ADB, but once it's done, it's so good. You can easily set custom gestures for the bottom bar, along with gestures along the side edges as well. And not just activities, you can use it to launch apps too. It really makes your daily usage quite snappy without hogging up on resources or taking up your screen. Okay, so moving along, we have bottom quick settings. See, it's one of the most essential apps out there with all of the phones becoming bigger and bigger. It just makes everything easier. As the name suggests, the app brings a custom quick setting and notification panel at the bottom of your screen. You can use it to access quick toggles such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and pretty much everything you want because that's customizable. You also get the notification shade so it's easier to not only see but reply to messages too. Now another app that I use quite often is ShareDR. It basically fixes Android's share menu. Wait, yeah, let me just explain. So basically it replaces Android's native share dialog with something that's more robust and customizable. You can pin the apps that you want and remove the apps that you don't like to appear on the share screen. Heck, you can even rearrange the order, which is a basic functionality missing from the stock experience. My favorite part is that you can even choose to view it as a grid or a list. Moving on, the status bars in our Android smartphones haven't changed quite a lot. Well, you can change it yourself, all thanks to Super Status Bar. This app adds various functionality to your status bar. You can add gestures to control the brightness or volume, have tab gestures to launch different apps or toggle the settings, and even change the way the notifications display on your screen. It's simple yet so functional that everyone will love it. Swipe down from the status bar and you have the notification tray. And here's an app to customize it, which is called PowerShade. PowerShade provides you the options to make your quick settings the way you want. The app offers full color customization while even letting you set up custom wallpaper if you desire. There are various themes available for it as well, such as getting quick settings like MIUI or One UI. And the app also offers a far more robust solution for handling notifications. Next up, we have one of my favorite apps on this list, which is Volume Styles. So as the name suggests, it changes your volume slider. You can apply various different themes like iOS, MIUI, OxygenOS, or even the stock USB. Now, depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you can change the position of the volume bar too. Other than that, there are different animations along with the ability to add custom apps too. It's a great app, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will love. Moving along, when we talk about customizability, one of the first things that you need is a good launcher app. My go-to recommendation is Nova Launcher. You get a plethora of features in terms of customizability, such as changing the style of grids, adding custom gestures, changing the style of folders, using third-party icon packs and whatnot. Nova also has seamless integration with Sesame for a faster universal search. That being said, we also have a dedicated video talking about the most customizable launchers for Android that you can check out here. So you got yourself a good launcher. What's next? A good wallpaper app. My go-to recommendation? Wardrobe. Now, Wardrobe is powered by Unsplash, so you get a huge collection of wallpapers that have been shot by professional photographers. There's more than a million wallpapers to browse through, and you can even download the images in RAW if you're one of those who likes to edit the shots manually. The app also comes with an automatic wallpaper changer feature in which you can set the time interval, 
categories and favorites to auto change wallpapers. However, you can also check out our list of the best wallpaper apps for Android if you want something else that suits your taste. Lastly, well, customizing your Android device is not all about looks. It's also about making things productive. And if you want to make your Android phone far more productive, my first suggestion would be changing your keyboard to TypeWise. The TypeWise keyboard offers larger keys that are easy to access and tons of actions that can be customized with the help of swipes. You can use swipes to delete text, undo text, capitalize text, open emojis and whatnot. The app does not take any permissions, so even your privacy is secured. Other than that, there are plenty of other keyboard apps that we've already covered in our dedicated video that you can check out here. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down there in the description box. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.